Hallelujah. If you are excited to be here tonight, start, jump on your feet and let's lift up our voice and bless the name of the Lord. You're welcome to commanding the day midnight prayer from the Obo Arena Dunamis International Gospel Center. I'd like you to please invite your family, send this code to somebody, wake up somebody and let them get ready for the midnight prayer. Send text or anything that that to somebody and make sure you have somebody to be here tonight. The Lord bless you as you do that. Lift up your voice and let's give welcome the presence of God tonight. Let's appreciate God for his goodness, for his mercy, for his help we have received and seen so far on this platform. Let's thank God for all the miracles we've been enjoying, we've been seeing through this platform. Lift up your voice and give me praise tonight. Bless the name of the Lord, magnify the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you, we honor you, we appreciate you. We thank you for the wonders, mighty things we have been seeing on this platform. Blessed be your name, O God. We worship you, we exalt your name, we magnify your name. Thank you, Father. Thank you for all you've done. Thank you for testimonies. Thank you for mind-blowing testimony. Ear tingling miracles that we've been hearing and seeing. We give you the glory. We return the honor to you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. The Bible talking about God who doeth things. In the book of Job chapter 5, verse 9, it says, God who doeth great things and unsearchable, marvelous things without number. We have had diverse kind of testimony, miracle of healing, miracle of breakthrough, miracle of lifting and deliverance from this platform. Lift up your voice and give him praise tonight. In the name of Jesus. Father, we give you thanks. We bless your name. In the name of Jesus. I'd like you to pray for God's servant tonight. Let's ask that the hand of the Lord will rest afresh upon him. Let the dew of heaven rest upon him tonight. Let the prophetic be accurate tonight. In the name of Jesus. Father, we ask for your hand upon your servant. We ask that as he stand, O oh God, you will make his tongue a pen of a ready writer tonight to inscribe your word, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for hearing us. Glory to your name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Once again, I'd like you to invite your family, call your family, wake up somebody. is commanding the day midnight prayer as we welcome the praise team to lead us further to the next chapter. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What are you turned into wine? Open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. None like you. What's he done? What's he done? Turn into wine. Open the eyes of the blind. Open the eyes of the blind. There's no one. There's no one.
Can we go ahead and celebrate God tonight? Put your hands together for the Lord. And please, you may be seated in God's auspicious presence. It is time for commanding the day midnight prayers. Call a friend, share the link, send data to somebody. There is somebody who is in need of intervention. Reach out to them and let them know that commanding the day midnight prayers has started. Now, let's take the testimonies. Testimony from Bro A.U. from New York. Hello, commanding the day midnight prayer crew. Above only, for over three weeks, I have been battling upper back pain. I tried stretching, change sleeping positions. Bending, all to no avail. But one night, I was tuned in, and pastor instructed us to place our hands on the area of pain and prayed against all forms of pain, lingering in the upper back, lower back, spine, etc., family. To God be the glory. I keyed into the prayer. And as soon as I removed my hand from my upper back after the prayer, the pain had completely vanished. Until today, I have been whole. Hallelujah. Testimony from Brother M.O. Good day. Commanding the day midnight prayer crew. I want to thank God for what he has done for me. I joined this prayer altar on 30th of March, 2024. And since then, my prayer life has been restored. I no longer have to struggle or force myself to go to the place of prayer anymore. I am constantly drawn by the love of God. And I am not taking it for granted at all. I also want to appreciate God for delivering me permanently from the spirit of masturbation and pornography. It was so much of an addiction that I could not stop willingly. And this was what affected my prayer life. Since connection to God and this altar, every urge for masturbation and pornography has died, and I am free till eternity. I want to give the Lord all the praise for what he has done for me. God bless you, sir and ma, for your sacrifices. Indeed, you both are a blessing to our generation. May the oil on your head never run dry in Jesus' name. Amen. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. Hallelujah. God will give you your own testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. Testimony from Pastor P.J. Poyese. I also had a miracle in one. Maybe we'll start it from the beginning. Testimony from Pastor P.J. 
I also had a miracle in one of the Saturday during the prophetic declarations. The senior pastor, Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche said, I see the inner aspect of the lower right leg that is between the knee and the ankle, the inner side of the right leg. There is a satanic movement, satanic sensation, evil demonic sensation. It is retrieved right now and refired back to hell. I shouted amen because that was exactly the case with my right leg for some time now. And ever since the declaration, that devil is gone forever. God bless you, sir, ma, and the entire commanding the day midnight crew. God perfect all that which consigns you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Give Test the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Your testimony shall be the next in Jesus' name. Amen. Testimony from Sister Christy from Moscow, Russia. Above only, that's, that's my place. Greetings, commanding the day midnight prayer family. I am here to return all the glory to God for what he has done in my life. I joined this prayer platform in December 2023. And since then, I have been glued to it. Firstly, I had gastric pains. And in one of the commanding the day midnight prayers, Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche took authority over gastritis. And since then, I haven't felt any such pain. Hey! Thank you, Jesus. Secondly, in the commanding the day midnight prayers of 8 of April 2024, after the brutal declarations, the senior pastor said, after having pronounced all the blessings, and I quote, Hallelujah, I am surely, and I quote, Yes, yes, he jumped in. Blessings, and I quote, Hallelujah, I am surely coming back with mega testimonies to the glory of God. Ola, 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 I am not taking all these testimonies for granted. And I have come to return all the glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And God bless you, sir, and ma, and all the commanding the day midnight crew for your sacrifice of love. God richly bless and strengthen you above only. That is my place. Amen. Somebody shout the loudest. Amen. Declaration. Declarations attached. Volume. Volume. Let's celebrate. Have you done for? Amen. Let's celebrate. Be upon your feet and let's celebrate the King of Kings. Hallelujah. Celebrations. Choir. What can't you do? What can't you do, Jesus? You are the name above every other name. What can't you change? What can't you change, Jesus? Creator of the universe, what can't you do? What can't you do, Jesus? Name above every other name. Nothing you cannot do. Nothing you 
cannot change. Nothing you cannot turn around. You are able, great and mighty. I put my trust in you. You are able, Jesus. Come on, give Jesus a big clap and a shout of praise. He is able and he's going to do yours tonight in the name of Jesus. Please, you may be comfortably seated anywhere you are watching. Praise God. And we have a number of people here with us inside the Oval Arena tonight. Live in London. Camera, can you pick them for us? Is there anyone that can assist? Pick them on camera. Hallelujah. Let's Give the Lord a praise. That camera. We'll, we'll, hallelujah, we'll pick you shortly. Praise the Lord. We'll go ahead and take a few more testimonies, and then we'll go on to pray. But I want you to know, I see people from all over Europe, actually, not just the UK, seated now. God will give you your miracles in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's go ahead. More testimonies. Fred from South Africa says, Good evening, pastor and congregation. He wishes to praise God on high and ex uh, exalted be the name of God. He was sent the link to the midnight prayers by his partner who asked him to join and listen. While listening, he began to sweat and shake uncontrollably before the live screen. He asked her, what this was and because he had never felt like this she said is god cleaning her, his soul bringing him from his place of darkness into the light of his glory and steering him to a path of righteousness we need the continuation of that Um, on the console, ICT. All right. Just lift up your hands and let's appreciate God. That is at least a sign of the young man, Fred, having an encounter with God and trying to find out what the um, encounter was about. Uh, please cue your testimonies appropriately. The part one should be followed by the part two. So let's go on. The remaining part is here from Fred from South Africa. So he asked uh, the partner what it meant, and they said it was God encountering him. So he praises God for entering his life, his soul, and his body, and saving him from the path he was on, and forgiving him for all his wrongs in the past. Praise to God on high, whose mercy and love knows no bounds and is everlasting. Praise to God for returning his prodigal son back to the light of God, goodness. He humbly begs forgiveness for all his past transgressions. We'll get in touch with you, Fred, and um, um, get you the link to the foundation class so that you go through it and have an understanding of the salvation experience you've had. If Jesus comes into your life, what are the next steps? And tonight, God's servant will be leading a prayer of rededication of life and being born again. I'd like you, Fred, to pray that prayer as well so that you establish your salvation experience. Let's go ahead. Testimony, Miss MSIPN from the United Kingdom says, Greetings to the Commanding the Day Midnight Prayer Team and to everyone. He's, she's come to return the glory to God, back to God Almighty. She's been through a lot since she got to the UK from being pregnant to a miscarriage. She lost her little precious angel of 22 weeks. Two days after her antenatal appointment with everything very fine, she had another appointment with her community midwife 
on the day with the midwife, she had her blood pressure checked and the readings were very high for a 22-year-old pregnant lady as she was. She referred her to the hospital so she can be monitored. Arriving there, the doctors had to recheck her blood pressure and also do an ultrasound scan only to find out that her baby had no heartbeat. She refused and kept praying and praying and canceled bad reports and requested for more scans, but to no avail. She understood it was God's will. The following day, she was given some tablets for contractions to evacuate the non-living baby. She thanks God for the strength throughout that trauma and the plans she knows he still has for, for, for them. She connected with faith and said, Amen. We skipped one slide before this, but let me take it. She's, she must have said, senior pastor mentioned her case, and she's connected with faith and said, Amen. Finally, her case had been mentioned. Thank you, Jesus. She slept with so much peace of mind, woke up in the morning, checked her blood pressure, and the readings were 115 over 80. She screamed, Jesus! This is real. This is real, oh. That's why what happened to her. She's grateful for the gift of life. She'll be back again for part two of her testimony. Praise God. May God bless Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche and his lovely wife for the oil of grace on their heads. May it never run dry. In Jesus' matchless name, amen. London Glory Conference, here she comes. And I know you are here today. Praise the Lord. The declaration video and the medications and the BP readings are attached. Again, please. Volume. Start afresh with volume. Today, I declare that low blood level is arrested. shift to become normal jesus precious name amen praise god let's take a look at the pictures wonderful wonderful let's give jesus a big clap of hand amazing god we declare everyone confronted by a similar situation your deliverance is hereby released in jesus name Yes, let's take a look at another testimony. Testimony from brother K.U. from Zaria. Says, good morning, commanding the day, midnight, prayer crew. He wants to thank God for his wife, who has, as consistently as she has been able to, woken him up these past weeks to be part of the midnight prayer. He has, for some time now, been having a running battle with high glucose levels in his system. It's been so bad that it has, been, it has taken them to the hospital on several occasions and has affected several of his organs. But during the commanding day midnight prayer of the 8th slash 9th of April 2024, Pastor Enenche mentioned his case, saying, if you have high sugar levels, go ahead and check it. This morning, it has been cleared. He checked it in the morning, his fasting blood sugar levels that had been in the region of 10 millimoles per DL dropped to less than 5.5 millimoles per DL. Somebody give Jesus a big clap of hand. He thanks God for his healing and he does not take it for granted. Praise the Lord. Declarations attached. In the name of Jesus, blood sugar disease is arrested and I declare normal blood sugar. You wake up in the morning, do another round blood, fasting blood sugar, random blood sugar. It will be confirmed that the blood sugar is cleaned out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. Let's take a look at one more and then we will um, proceed. Obina from Abuja says, greetings to his commanding the day midnight prayer family. He has had a chain of testimonies leading to this point. The most recent one occurred on the 9th of April, 2024. By the grace of God, he was granted a fully 
funded scholarship to study in Germany, and he started his visa process yesterday, sent an email to the embassy to book an appointment, but the embassy asked for a document that he had not initially gotten from the university in Germany. And this document was not part of the checklist of the documents that he needed that he saw online. He got so worried thinking about the time it would take for the German university to prepare the document. He sent an email to his contact person in the university immediately requesting for the document by 5.33 p.m. the day before. After this, he came back from work and went straight to God in prayer, during which time he felt in his spirit to rewatch the commanding the day midnight prayer of the previous night. So he watched the rebroadcast dated 8-04-2024 during the prayers just before prayer 12 was about to come in. Pastor read John 16, 24 and declared that something that will make your joy complete this week will happen to you. He said it twice. He keyed into this declaration. He wrote it down in his book of promises. And after watching the rebroadcast, he meditated on it and declared them to his situation. People of God, the next morning at 8.56 a.m., he got an email from the contact person with the fle freshly prepared documents that he needed from 5.33 p.m. the day before to 5 50, to 8.56 a.m. the next morning. Hey! God is so amazing. And he thanks God for his hand on his parents in the Lord. To God be all the glory. Amen. Declarations attached. He that you, have you asked nothing in my name? Ask and you shall receive that your joy might be full. Something that will make your joy complete this week shall happen for you. Hallelujah. Something that will make your joy complete this week shall happen for you. Can you receive that and say? How many of you believe something that will make your joy complete will happen to you? Shout hallelujah. Let's go in celebration. Let's go. Go, 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 go. There's no darkness in you. There's no verbalness, no shadow of turning. Every good and perfect gift comes from your throne above. For the good of your own, you are the Father. Your name, I don't be 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 your name, associated with you. This is commanding the day midnight prayers all the way from London, England, from over arena in Wembley. Give the Lord a pray, give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. Your life will never remain the same in Jesus' name. Ephesians chapter 1 and in verse 4 all the way to verse 6. Ephesians 1 verse 4 all the way to verse 6. We are going to be very fast in the scriptures because of, of the time for prayer. Or if I'm not expecting the scriptures on the screen, you let me know. All right. According as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he has made us accepted in the beloved. Anyone who believes it is a great privilege to be called of God, say aloud, amen. amen. Say after me, say, Father. I thank you for your goodness and mercies. Thank you, Lord, for the privilege of being called your own. Thank you for the gift of life. Be glorified, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, open your mouth and pray. Father, we thank you for your goodness and your mercies. Thank you, Lord, for the privilege of being called your own. Thank
Thank you for the gift of life. Be glorified, Lord. Go ahead and pray, 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 pray. Mena daya tala yadada yola husa. Meka sate faru da gaya tanisa. Ete lira ro taurawa. Yora na tasede galaya taranasha. Let the separate chance galaya taruna. In the name of Jesus. The Lord heard and answered us. Say a loud amen. Amen. Psalm 103 verse 1 all the way to verse 5. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name, bless the Lord, O my soul. And forgive not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thy iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases. Who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. Satisfy thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Psalm 118 and in verse 25 said, It's the day the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Somebody shout the Lord and say, Amen. amen. Say after me, say, Father, thank you for your mighty acts. Of signs, of signs, wonders, wonders and, miracles and miracles in our midst. In our midst. Thank you, Thank you. For, the for the impactful commencement, commencement of, the glory of the glory conference. Be glorified, Lord, be glorified, Lord in, the in the name of Jesus. Go on, open your mouth and pray. <laughs> In Jesus' precious name. Second Corinthians 2 and in verse 14, he said, Thanks be to God, which always causes us to triumph in Christ Jesus and has make, and, and made, and made manifest the server of his knowledge by us in every place. Luke chapter 10 verse 19, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over every power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. And then, First John chapter 4 verse 4, You have God little children and have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father we, resist we resist vehemently. Vehemently. Every agenda, Every agenda of the enemy, of the enemy to, confront, to confront, to resist, to, resist, to undermine, undermine, to antagonize, or counteract, or counteract your works in our midst in, in this season. In this we, season. Bring we bring them into perpetual, into perpetual defeat, defeat. defeat. Oh, Lord. oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Name of Go on ahead and pray. We resist very mentally every agenda of the enemy to confront and resist, undermine, antagonize, counteract your works in our midst in this season. We bring them into perpetual defeat, Lord. In the name of Jesus, let us say, Tore Managasta, let us sit a fair in a galatarona, your attesse ferretina galatari, your caste farana gayatesi, yet a safe retour de la tora, your attesse de galatas, yes, a tedu, in a nayataya. In the name of Jesus, Amen. that person that has that pinpoint affliction on the head right now, just like a pin, like a nail right in the center of the head. I declare to retrieve and refire back to hell. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. it's interfering with your prayer as we pray right now. And that terrible migraine headache is retrieved and refired back to hell in Jesus' precious name. Amen. You believe that, shout the Lord and say amen. amen. Matthew chapter 11 verse 12, he said, from the days of John the Baptist till now, the kingdom suffered violence and the violent take it by force. Somebody who is taking your portion by force, say loud amen. Amen. Say after me, say Father, Father I, step I step into this new day, into this new with, day. The with the force and violence, and violence of the kingdom, of the kingdom to take control, take control of, the day of the day and bring, and bring Contrary forces, contrary forces under control, under control. Oh, Lord. oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, name go on Jesus. ahead and pray. I step into this building. In Jesus' precious name. 
name. Amen. Genesis chapter 32 and in verse 24 all the way to verse 28. And Jacob was left alone and they arrested with him a man until the breaking of the day. And when he saw that he prevailed not, he said to him, let me go for the day breaking. And he said, I will not let it go except thou bless me. He said to him, what is your name? And he said, it's, thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince has that power with God and with men, and you have prevailed. Somebody who will prevail tonight, say it loud, amen. 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 Somebody, you know, I, I, I mentioned it in the service that tonight will be filled with encounters. Yes, when I was seeing that, I wasn't even conscious that this is the same prayer point. Now, lift your voice and say, Father, Father I, declare I declare this new day this new as my day, day as my of day divine, divine encounter, encounter to counter enemy agenda, agenda in my life. In my life. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go on ahead and speak to God. <laughs> In Jesus' precious name. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11 is it? For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, say the Lord. Thoughts of peace are not of evil to give you an expected end. Somebody gets said, what God has planned for you, no devil can stop it. Amen. Say after me, say, Father, Father I take full delivery, take full delivery of, every thought, of every thought, every plan, every every plan and every package, and every package you have for me, you have for me this, weekend. this weekend. I receive all, I receive from, all your from your hands. Oh Lord, oh Lord. in the name of Jesus. Name of Go on Jesus. ahead and speak to God. In Jesus' precious name, Psalm 34 and in verse 5 said, They looked up to him and they were lightened, and their faces we are not ashamed. You will not be ashamed. Amen. Say after me, say, Father. Father. Thank you. Thank you. Because we are looking up to you. Because we are looking up and we are being lightened. And, we are being and our faces can never be ashamed. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Pray, pray, pray. We are looking up to you. And we are being lightened. And our faces, my face can never be ashamed. I am looking up to you. My face can never be ashamed. Our faces can never be ashamed. My face can never be ashamed. Our faces can never be ashamed. In Jesus' precious name, wake your friends, love runs as we step into judgmental dimensions. Psalm 10, verse 15 to verse 16. Break down the arm of the wicked and the evil man. Seek out his wickedness till thou, thou find none. The Lord is king forever and ever. The hidden are perished out of the land. God is not interested in the destruction of the wicked, but there are all repentant wicked people. Right? For as long as they remain, more wickedness goes. So God takes care of them. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father let the unrepentant, the unrepentant wicked, wicked, and their wickedness be eliminated, be eliminated out, of the out of the land. Break their arm and strength. Search out their wickedness until none be found. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, pray, pray, pray. Father, let the unrepentant wicked and their wickedness be eliminated out of the land. Break their arm and their strength. Search their wickedness until none be found. 
In Jesus' precious name. Amen. The Lord heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. Deuteronomy 32, verse 22. For a fire is kindled in my anger, the A part, and it shall burn to the lowest hell. Father, let your fire burn. Every altar of sorrow, altar of depression. Say after me, say, Father, Father in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We ask yeah. for the release, for the release of, the of the fire of your judgment, of your judgment. On, every on every altar, altar. enemy altar, altar. Enemy of, altar. Sorrow. of sorrow, depression, depression. Confusion. confusion, strange disease, strange disease. premature death, death. Premature evil report, evil report. Evil report. Evil report. Or, bad news. or bad news. We declare them, them. roasted by fire, by fire. Oh, Lord. oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray, pray. We declare the altars roasted by fire, roasted by fire, altars of sorrow, altars of depression, altars of confusion, strain disease, premature death, evil report, bad news, roasted by fire, Lord, in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Revelation chapter 3 and in verse 7, he said, and unto the angel of the church in Philadelphia, right? This thing said, he that is holy, he that is true, and he that has the key of David, he that openeth and no man shut it, and shut it and no man open it. Somebody get ready, a door is opening for you today. Amen. You believe that, say loud, amen. amen. Say, Father, Father, I trust you, I trust for, you. All round, for all round, supernatural, supernatural. Openings, openings, in my life, in my, life, in my, endeavor, in my endeavor, like, endeavor, like never before, like never oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Go ahead, pray from your heart. <laughs> Father, I trust you, for all round, supernatural <laughs> openings, <laughs> in my life and endeavor, like never before. Lord, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name. The Lord heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. John chapter 12 and in verse 32, the Bible said, and, and I, if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men unto me. Can you say after me and say, Father, Father we, ask we ask that you will lift, you will lift your, son, Jesus your Christ. son, Jesus Christ. Lift him up this weekend lift him up and, this draw all men and draw all men to yourself. To yourself. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Again, Father, Father we, ask we ask that you lift your son, you lift your Jesus, son. Up Jesus up this weekend, this weekend. and draw all men draw to, all to yourself, oh, Lord, to yourself, in, the Lord. Jesus. in the name of Jesus. Draw all men draw to yourself at the glory conference. Oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and speak to God. in Jesus precious name amen. the Lord heard and answered us shall the Lord say amen. amen hallelujah let's celebrate God let's give him the praise and celebrate him for the next one minute let's go 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 everybody say you are the head, 
over principalities. You are the head over power. You are the head. You are the head over the rulers. You are the master, master of the universe. Yeah, you are the master, master of the universe. We worship your name, King of the universe. We worship your name. We worship your name. We worship your name, King of the universe. We worship your name. Give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise. Hallelujah. Please be seated very, very sharply. We'll take a couple more testimonies, go into personal supplications, and then we shall be on. Please, let's go. Gladys J.A. from Benin. Good morning to the Commander Day Midnight Prayer family. Indeed, the God at work on this altar answers prayers have come to return all the glory to God, to this true God. My husband, who had been a wonderful God-fearing man and was very committed to doing the work of God, suddenly changed after 13 years of marriage, sleeping out. And when he returned, he would say, he owed me no explanation. Oh, no. That made me so weak and frustrated. There was no attention anymore. It was so serious that any little argument, he would just go out and sleep in a lady's place. Oh no. I will still be the one to beg before he will come back home. Even to go to church had become a big challenge for him, so I decided to leave him for God. And always prayed for him to change on the 23rd of March, 2024. He didn't still come home and he didn't bother to call me. The children got tired of waiting for him to come home and went to sleep. I was still waiting, hoping he would come till 11.20 p.m. He still hadn't come home. So I called one of my family friends who already knew all I've been going through in my marriage. She told me to join the prayers now. That's 11.20 p.m. Join the prayers now. With tears in my eyes, I went to YouTube and joined. All the testimonies I listened to made me to believe that God will answer mine too. During the declaration, I was crying, telling God to please talk to me through your servant. As if that night was made for my husband's deliverance. The pastor said, there is a strange wind blowing in someone's, somebody's marriage and commanded it to be scattered and returned to hell. Immediately, I felt something inside me. Pastor then asked God's handmaiden to pray for us. Keep going. Ask God has, has, asked God's handmaid to pray for us. After the prayers, Pastor went on to say the man has the call of God, but immorality has weakened his prayer life. And asked God for mercy on my husband's behalf. Hey, 100% accurate. God, you are mighty. Thank you for rescuing my husband from the strange women. Since that day, my husband returned home. He has changed for the better. Hey! Hey! He has changed for the better. Peace and joy have returned to my home. May God bless and continue to lift you all up. In Jesus' name, amen. More testimonies are loading. Can somebody give the Lord a praise? Hallelujah. Let's go. Declaration attached. And I declare that that wind... Be scattered and return back to hell. And it's a Jezebel spirit, a strange woman is in the picture that has turned the hand of a sensible man, turned the head of a matured man against his wife. I take authority over that demonic wind I arrest you. Return back to hell. You Jezebel spirit, you Delilah spirit, I arrest you now. Only a wicked agent of the devil who see a house that is working and walk into it to scatter it. The Lord rebuke you, deal with you. You want, you want the man, and the wife doesn't need the man. Push the man out. 
and make children to be looking for their father. Oh. And make wives to be looking for her husband. Where were you when they started? Where were you when they started building the house? Wicked, 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 greedy, poverty stricken agents. They are looking for the money now. Very far Where were you when they, they have no money? Every family in this category of a poverty stricken demon agent or a greedy devil looking to harvest where they sold nothing today it's filled. some of them go diabolical and they turn the heads of men i declare the charm is broken the diabolism is arrested it will not stand declare right now the whirlwind that parted the red sea goes forth now and parts that man from that evil jezebelic woman in the name of jesus we put an enmity between them and we command the man restored to his home in the name of jesus amen against reprisals and counter attacks on any woman on any man on any family in the name of jesus today we declare your family is restored your peace is restored your joy is restored in the name of jesus so shall it be Amen. in jesus name. I'm talking to someone with the calling of god oh iniquity has weakened you weakened your power weakened your capacity to be used of god don't waste your life and waste your destiny for transcend pleasure i decree to you today that the yoke is broken be delivered from the yoke of immorality i command this broken right now be set free in the name of jesus father i ask that your oil will come afresh on this young man and cause him to be recovered to his assignment and cause him to be recovered to his destiny in the name of jesus christ wow 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 incredible and the man is back home give the lord a praise anyone in such situation i declare your restoration in jesus name let's go lady s from edo state calvary greetings to the commanded name in prayer crew i'm thanking god because god truly hears and has answered my prayers concerning my child through the declaration of dr pastor paul and on the 8th of february sorry april 2024 midnight prayer when pastor declared and i quote i pray for that child with a name that starts with a j i declare you will not miss road you will not be rendered useless in the name of jesus father with a mental condition father that is unstable in the mind trying to affect the destiny of the child with a name that starts with a j today i declare that agenda is over in jesus name and i shouted amen people of god my son's name is Jaden. And his father is the only one that was able to get married and give birth till now in his family until he died. When my son was just two months old, he died with a sudden mental condition and partial deafness. He was unstable in his mind about every decision he is to, he is to take. Even about our marriage and pregnancy, he would always say to me, if not for this, I wouldn't do that. Do that. His family practically tells him what to do. So... Since he died, I've been praying and asking God concerning my son, Jaden, who is now four years plus, that whatever affected his father will not affect him and that he will fulfill his destiny and that he will not miss road in life. Wow. Even though he doesn't have a father anymore and his father's people have neglected him also. I know God has answered my prayers through this declaration from God's servant. I know he's totally free and will fulfill his destiny in life. I am not taking this for granted. I appreciate this good God. God bless his servants for the, this great sacrifice. May the oil on your head or you never run dry. Amen. God bless everyone connected to this prayer altar. In Jesus' name, amen. Declaration. I pray for everyone's child everywhere you are. They are around the world. I prophesy fruitfulness. No child shall miss direction. No child shall miss focus. No child shall miss target. Spirit of addiction is broken. Spirit of waywardness is broken. Amen. Spirit of distraction is broken. In the name of Jesus. I pray for that child with a name that starts with a J. I declare you will not miss you. Do not be rendered useless. The, the demon of your father, what follow your father, will not render you useless. In the name of Jesus. Father with a mental condition. Father that is unstable. 
in the mind. Trying to affect the life and destiny of the child wow. with a name that starts with a J. Today, I declare that the agenda is over. Wow. Wow. Give the Lord a praise. Let me use this to say, anyone with a negative family history, whatever affected your father, your mother, your parents negatively will never affect your life and your family and your destiny in the name of Jesus. You will fulfill your days and fulfill your life's assignment. I see a drunkenness, a demon of drunkenness trying to affect somebody whose father was a drunkard. I declare that yoke is broken. In Jesus' name, please take your seat. Sister Nebet Moses for Hakat. Above all, is my place indeed. Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus. I joined this platform. Commanded him in a prayer first sometime last year, invited by my neighbor. Then this month of March, my cousin, Dr. Nsikan, sent this invite again. I seized the opportunity and asked him to call by midnight to ensure I was awake. God bless you, bro. I was all already struggling with my nightlife prayers. So bad that even when I get a clear instruction to pray, I will just see myself at 6 a.m. <laughs> we, we, we cannot tell what transpired, but the next thing he knows is that it is 6 a.m. <laughs> By 11.45 p.m. or so, the Holy Spirit will awaken me. Praise God. Fast forward to my major testimony. My daughter has been struggling with breathing for over four years now. The attack comes and goes, but this time it became terrible. You could hear her breathing from any part of the house. She snores so loudly that you'll know she has fallen asleep from anywhere you are. It became a burden when she began to foam profusely while sleeping. Wow. Eye discharge was so bad, we had to go for a diagnosis. In my mind, I just need to know the name of the, of the issue so I can be able to table it before God. Mind you, she has been diagnosed when she was three and we advised to do surgery to take out tonsils, also which I objected. But this new diagnosis and the tonsils were okay, but her air pipe in the throat was too narrow. So she struggles to get air in, and breathing becomes so much work. That's why there's excess drooling and bubbles. Also, the doctor said, ah, she could have drowned in her own saliva due to the level of whatever he saw. So that night, 22nd March, 2024, I took the phone, I placed it by her bed, and my hand on her throat and chest area while pastor was declaring. And the next thing I heard was, sleep apnea is reversed. Apnea is a sleep disorder and a tightening of the airways. I was like, this is for my daughter that becomes breathless and just choking to death, literally, while sleeping. Now, let's go. Next, on the 23rd night, he declared yet again, ENT, ENOS and throat allergy is re reversed. Boom! It was made whole encounter for my daughter. And since that day, I had to go peep on her while she is sleeping. Because you can't hear her snore anymore. Or see any drooling. She sleeps soundly like any other siblings. All discharge from allergy has dried up. I waited for several days now to be double sure. Jesus did it. Glory be to his name. As our deliverance is permanent in Jesus name. Before and after of her videos attached and declaration. Oh God. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Take authority over sleep apnea, insomnia. Somebody with a nasal condition, an ear, nose and throat condition is being healed right now. Whatever it is, whatever is the reason for that congestion, whether it's allergy, whether it's sinusitis, whether it's a nasal polyp, I declare it cleaned out right now in the name of Jesus. Mother, thank you for giving us just this kind of very drastic evidence. Very drastic. People, please, let's learn from this woman. Let's learn from what she did. 
the video picture of how the situation was so terrible and then the, the, the situation after the healing. This is, this is undeniable evidence of the manifestation of the power of God and we cannot take this for granted. Can we stand up everywhere you are? Give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise. I believe God intervening in the life of someone's child and someone's family right now. You believe that child, the loudest. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Please take your seat. I think I have one more and then we'll proceed. <clears throat> what a mighty God we serve. All right. We're going to proceed straight into video clip recordings. I hope that this will be less than 10 minutes at the most of those who have one or two things to share with us. You have four of them? Good morning, above Ole, that is my place. My name is Anthony Andrew Idoko. I base in Port Harcourt, River State of Nigeria. I've come to give glory to God for what the Lord has done in my life through the Commanding the Day Midnight Prayers. I joined the Commanding the Day Midnight Prayers in the month of November 2023. Before then, I used to have, you know, series of attack, witchcraft attack and all that. But from the very day that I joined the Commanding the Day Midnight Prayers, that attack ceased. Secondly, I always have pains, that is chest pain. You know, sometimes it will be so painful as if I swallow something and the thing, you know, was hanging on my throat. But one of the day, the man of God made declarations and that pain checked back to hell. Then thirdly, my prayer life was under attack. You know, sometimes I find it difficult to pray at night. But right now, there is this revival fire in my prayer lives. That this time around, I pray every night. Sometimes I pray non-stop. Sometimes I pray till 4 a.m. in the morning. The fire is burning, you know. I feel like praying for hours. But hey. before, I couldn't do that. So I have come to return all the glory to God and I'm believing God for more mega testimony. Hey! I just want to appreciate our papa and our mommy. Thank you very much for your selfless service to humanity and to the kingdom of God. May the Lord continue to strengthen you and all the commanding the day midnight crew. May the Lord strengthen all of you. Thank you very much. Wow. Good morning, above. Hi, no, no. good afternoon, good day, wherever you are, all over the world. My name is Ekene Vivian of Grade Your Four, and I'm here to share my experience about the commanding the day, how it has impacted my life, and how it has helped me. Like the senior pastor has said, we should share our experience through a video if we can. I am in United Kingdom, London, to be precise, and I want to say God has been faithful, God has been so merciful. I have been always loved to pray, pray at midnight and commanding day was the opportunity for me to build the strength to pray at night so well. One of the testimonies that really God gave to me through commanding day was as of December last year and stroke January, into January, the new year of this year, I had a, a, a very strong attack from the enemy, witchcraft attack, persistent witchcraft attack, which was so strong. I could remember coming into January, I was having series of nightmares, series of bad dreams, I could not sleep well. So as of January, during one of the commanding the days, uh, senior pastor Dr. Pastor Paul Enetje declared that there are people here under intense witchcraft attack. As they are in two categories. If, if the, first of all, one is that your spiritual life is under attack and you're telling yourself, why am I connected to this platform and I'm having this kind of attack? And two, the attack hasn't started at all. My dear brethren, that is me. That was clearly me. I shouted when he started declaring that God will give us victory, that you're going to have, have a visitation and God will give you victory. That night, to be precisely, I slept and I saw them chasing me. They were so close to my back to get me. I looked forward. I, there was no help coming. All of a sudden, I heard a voice say, look up. As I looked up to the sky, I saw a horse, a man on a horse. He stretched his hands and then as I stretched my hands, he took me up. And that was how I was able to, I woke up. As I was waking up, God was showing me they have surrounded me. God opened my eyes and they surrounded me that they wanted to still attack me. So I, I just, God using the face of God's servant, I saw him enter my room, and before you know, he came in, like, he drew like a curtain around me. I would say a curtain of fire. Like, they couldn't see me. 
I was there, but they could not see me. So every I slept back again with confidence that God has given me victory. So waking up that morning, and I saw my landlady because in that revelation where God showed me, she was on the open the doors for them to come and attack landlady me. Landlady opened the door so for the, for the she people. She came that morning to peep whether I was even on bed. And I want to give God all the praise that God vindicated me. Like God saved me. I was arrows. I was feeling arrows at my back, arrows on my leg, I, a pain. The attack was so much, but I want to give God the glory for giving me victory through commanding today. Give the Lord a praise. Landlady was the one who gave the people access to surround her when she woke up from the encounter of preservation. In the morning, the landlady came to peep whether she was awake on the bed. They won't kill you before your time. Every peep they dug for you, those who dug it will step in there. Are we done or one more, two more? We are racing against time here. We have a few more minutes to go. Yes. We have one or two more. Are we done? Both only that is my place. My name is Mary Blessing Mabi from Shandam Local Government Area of Plateau State. I came across the Commanding the Day Midnight Prayer platform on Facebook in the month of October 2023. Since then, my prayer life changed drastically. My love for God increases. I kept sharing the link on, on my Facebook and WhatsApp status. On the 31st of October, 2023, I had an encounter. I saw Pastor Paul and Nature and Mother Becky and Nature in my dream in my father's house with anointing oil. Then I woke up the following day with the news that my elder sister got an employment with the state government and my brother-in-law whom was stagnated career-wise got an employment with the federal government that same day this can only be good and also in the month of december towards christmas god's servant kept declaring that systems personalities are put under pressure onto what is yours enters your hands i kept gaining into that prophetic declaration and i saw the seeds to that effect god favored me i kept receiving alerts I received a lot on the 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, and 27th of December 2023. The most amazing thing was that even moon Christians gave me Christmas gifts. This can only be good. Lastly, I want to thank God for delivering me, for, for healing me from reoccurring boils that kept reoccurring on my private region after two, two weeks during the Blessing Sunday on the 7th, God healed me completely. I noticed the following day on Monday, the boils dried up completely and wow. checked back to hell forever. And I want to use this medium to thank Senior Pastor Paul Enetra and Mother Becky Enetra for their show of love and sacrifice to humanity. May the oil on your heads never run dry. And for all the Commanding the Day crew members, God bless you all. Abo. Give the Lord a praise. Mighty God. Hallelujah. 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 Can we all stand up on our feet and celebrate the King of Kings? Celebrate the King of Kings for one Lord, minute. I come before your majesty Not to see what I can get from you But to see what I can give to you Lord, I come before Lord, I come before you to see what I Sacrifice of love. Lord, I bring my praise to you. As my sacrifice of love. Lord, you know that I love for you. 
Take me, Lord, take me, Lord. Lord, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, Lord, you know. Love for you is for me. Take me, Lord. You know, you know, you know. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. a big clap and a last shout of praise. Take 30 seconds to appreciate God and take another 60 seconds and present something before God. Take any position. Supplication. You have a need, you have something you want to talk to God about, go on ahead and let's do so. In Jesus' precious name. Get your hands in the praise of God and let's worship Him. Let's honor. I pray for that person today whose desire is to be close to you. I ask for fresh grace, fresh oil, fresh fire, fresh power to come upon someone tonight. In the name of Jesus, the Lord pull you close 
in intimacy. Pull you close in relationship. You have been overwhelmed with pressure. To meet needs. The pressure of care for your own life. For your dependence. It has pulled you away from prayer life. Pulled you away from study of the world. Every time you kneel to pray. The devil brings the picture of all the needs of your life. Today, I declare divine intervention. In the name of Jesus. Someone else, what the devil brings upon you is the fact that you are not yet married. The fact that you don't yet have a child. The fact that that child is sick and is a concern. Despite prayers you have prayed. Tonight, everything the devil is using to draw you away from intimacy, I declare it is over. Divine visitation in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for the healing of that left hand. Thank you for the healing of that lower back. Thank you for the healing of that galactoria. Breast milk flow. Again, lady with the name that starts with a J. Thank you for healing of high cholesterol. Bad breath. Affliction on the left big toe of somebody. Pelvic. Peptic ulcer disease. A right ear affliction. Anal condition with constipation. In the name of Jesus. I declare them healed. Father, thank you for telling us that tonight will be a night of encounter. Father, thank you for that big obstacle in front of that person that you will sh remove tonight. And you will show by revelation. Thank you for that big python that is vomiting that treasure tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for the divorce between that person and that spirit husband. Tonight, in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for unveiling that mystery tonight. Thank you for the restoration of that grace and that gift of that servant of God. Be glorified, Lord. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. We have a time and I'm resting against time, but I have a burden. Can you hold the hand of somebody? Great place, enjoyable place we have had, but with very, very, very great limitations in what could be done. Like you saw, we almost literally couldn't call anybody forward for the altar call. Because of certain restrictions of venue use. We had someone who came in. We have people who have come in from several places. One of the people who came in from Switzerland couldn't enter tonight. Because maybe she didn't come on time for registration. And she doesn't have the band to come in. Many years ago in the year of 20, 2007. We had a crusade in Abuja Stadium. Jammed to capacity. Ron Kinoli was there. After the crusade of July 2007, we had another in August 2007, another in September. Then the government said they cannot give the venue for use anymore, for use by church or for one thing or the other. Right there, I announced to the church, to the people at the ground, and I said, you know what? That means it is time for us to build our stadium. Time for us to build ours. And no longer to depend on this. That is what I am sensing. We trust that God can give a facility like this that belongs wholly to him. Where as many people as possible can come in any time. And whatever we need, we, needs to be done will be done per time. In this same land. In this same nation. So we are in agreement together Lord. Father we, we receive facility as massive, as big as this and even more that can accommodate thousands in conferences and conventions 
as many times as possible from all over the world until the United Kingdom is filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters covers the seas. You can do it in three months, you can do it in six months, you can do it in one year. You can do it as fast as you can. But we receive from your hands. Amen. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father we, receive we receive of your hands, your hands facility, the facility for the use, for the use of, the of the gospel to penetrate, to penetrate the, United the United Kingdom and the nations, and the nations in Europe, Europe without restrictions, with no without right. limitations, without, without inhibitions, without inhibitions freely, used freely used for the move of God. Move of Open God. your mouth and pray that prayer. Let we God take God. delivery, we receive it. In Jesus' precious name, in agreement as a mission and on this altar, we agree that to receive such facility Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. that is central, that is massive, yes. that will carry thousands yes. upon thousands oh. and that will fulfill the agenda of God Amen. in the name of the Father Amen. and of the Son Amen. and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Hey. And for everyone trusting God to receive something that is yours, something that you are trusting God for, for everyone Trusting God for a house, for a facility, for church building, for anything, it is done. Amen. Receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, keep you, cause his face to shine upon you, and be gracious unto you in Jesus' name. We see tomorrow, we see 9 a.m., and also we see in the night. 2024, and above only, where is your place? And above only. God bless you. Shake hands seven people and congratulate them and greet them. Thank you all. Thank you everyone. And thank you all the facility staff. God bless you.